Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of Mario Golf Game Boy Color. This is obviously the intro of the game and as you can tell I've decided to use a face cam here. The reason why is because, well, golf is a very reaction based game. <laughs> like there's a lot of stuff that's either going to devastate you or will please you greatly. So here we go! Let's get the game started. Brand new one player game. Yeah, is all the stuff that can be unlocked later. But uh, here we go! Woo! Oh yeah, it's Toad. Start by, start by creating a new character. First, select a player. So, you can either be male or female. There's two characters for each. I'm gonna go through all of them just to show you what they're like. So, this is Kid right here, and you can, you'll be able to see his stats in just a second here. You can also choose their handedness. Like, uh, there's his stats, and I'm gonna go back over to um, Joe, which is the other male character here. You can see his stats as well. And yeah, all the characters can be le left or right handed. Guess they're all ambidextrous. <laughs> and so yeah, there's his stats, and I'm gonna choose the female branch here. And here is Sherry, which has the lowest drive in the game at just 200 to start with. But uh, really, in all honesty, I don't think the character stats matter all that much. Uh, they're, they're gonna end up being the same around the same time as I'm basically raising the characters about the same way. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway. So, male. This is the character I'm gonna be choosing. It's gonna be Kid, because it's gonna make the most sense for those who played Mario Golf Advance Tour. So yeah. <laughs> And you can also choose your name here, but I'm just gonna leave it as the default kid. Sound good? Good. Okay. <laughs> so, the game begins! At the director's office for some reason. <laughs> Not golfing, at the director's office. Yeah, this game has RPG elements! <laughs> Hello kid, it's your first day as our student! Follow our advice and you'll be a great golfer. Actually, I'm pretty sure I could already outgolf them. <laughs> now, kid, let me introduce the club staff. I'm the pro here at Marion Club. Nice to meet you. Ditto. Although I'm probably more of a pro than he is. <laughs> the golf master, Mario, is the idol of all golfers. I know what it's like to want to be like Mario. If you want, if you become a pro, you may get to meet Mario. And beat him, too. <laughs> I'm the caddy master here at Marion Club. Obviously, Marion is a play on the word Mario. I'm responsible for the course and can answer questions. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> Look after kid, okay? I don't know why he stands in the middle of them to... I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Use Marion's club's facilities to improve your game. I shall. Select Clubhouse to come here anytime. And I shall, too. And my face cam is a little bit off. There we go. <laughs> See you on the green. So, you're brought to here. And you can do stuff here and stuff and stuff. But really, in all honesty, let's just go to the Marion Clubhouse. Which starts you all the way over here. You gotta find your way back to the director's house. I mean, you know, director's room if you'd like. But let's first chat with the uh, people a little bit here. Just to see what's up around these parts and whatnot, and uh, can I check this? Strategic Golf. I can check it, but you can't read the book! What? That's that's ridiculous. And this course isn't really all that difficult, so these people are kind of, kind of exaggerating things. <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely say one of the key tricks to golf is to not think about it all too much. If you think of all the mechanics, you're gonna mess up. <laughs> because you're thinking, oh, I gotta do this at this time, and I'll... <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'll get into the golf strategy as I go, but for the most part, I'm just chatting with the people here, just to see what they have to say at this early point in the game, because their dialogue changes as you go and whatnot. So, yeah, over here is the trophy room. 
or I should say your trophy room because no one else is going to win trophies but you. So yeah. Um, over here is the lounge. This is for the big boys around the parts. Could approach got to really help your score. That is true. I know lower clubs have less control, but dang, bunker shots will necessarily have to make the green. <laughs> It's easy to come up short if you don't use distance clubs in a headwind and tailwind use small clubs. Oh, you know. Probably all the stuff that I'm going through here will sound like gibberish until you actually get into golf. Unless you already know golf. Which chances are you already know golf if you were interested in this game to begin with. <laughs> if you're going up there, you better know who's who. Oh man, why is that? Those are all the club champs. I'll tell you who's who. The intellectual one. I mean, the intellectual on the right is Link's club, Gene Yus. He's the best of the club champs. The stud next to him is Dune Champ Tiny, the second best. The lady is Pong Champ, Grace. She's next in line. The little guy on the left is Putz, as Marion Champ. He's at the bottom of the ladder. He's not very good, as his name suggests. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, I did. If you want to be a club champ, know your rivals. That was kind of deep for her voice, but okay. <laughs> I am Genius, Link's club champion. I am the greatest of the great. The pleasure's mine. So he's got an ego problem. <laughs> I'm tiny, doom club champ. All the club champs are here. Hi, I'm Grace, Paul club champion. New recruit should sure improve quickly. I haven't even started, but <laughs> she knows I have potential. I'm the club champ here at the Marion Club. Are you that new golfer kid? Why, uh, yes I am. Experience wins tournaments. Maybe I could lend you some? Hmm, eh, sure. Sure, I'll let you play me. What? No, I don't, I don't want to play you just yet. Yeah, I, I, I want to go to the tournament to show people. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so, yeah, you can play him early. But I don't recommend doing that until you play through the tournament at least once, in all honesty. Just saying. And up here is the director's club office. Yeah, well, director's room, I should say. Yeah, we finally made it back here! Practice hard at Marion Club. When you find a new joy in golf and know its depths, then you'll be a master. A Pokemon master. Wait, no, no, that's, that's not it. Train at Marion Club to enter the club tournament. Place here and you can enter other club tournaments. If you need me, ask the Caddy Master Office. So around this place, you can also find the 1-Up Mushroom, which you can use to uh, up your character's stats, but I'm not going to do that right now. I want to use the 1-Up Mushrooms when I require more experience points to level up, just because it's like a, a rare candy in Pokémon that you level up any time. So yeah, it just makes things a little bit easier in my in my opinion. But so if you want to collect the one-up mushroom, search that room by just like checking stuff against the wall by mashing your talk button and whatnot. And here's the locker rooms. So here's I'm in the lady locker room. It's, um, well, I, I guess they don't mind all that much. <laughs> Not a duff, it's a nice shank. Oh, wait, what? What? Three parts same power, so they say. That stupid bunker. <clears throat> That's... Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, there's only some characters that chat in multiple different sentences. And if you check lockers, yellow cap and fake mustache, could it be? Who, whose locker could it be? You find Yoshi, it's about to hatch! It's cold inside. By the way, is, are you gonna about the same dialogue from all these uh, lockers? It just, it's just kind of like randomly generated. So yeah, you can find all sorts of random stuff in here, and in the other uh, locker room, there's other stuff to find as well. Well, as in another one-up mushroom, but I'm not gonna get that one either. Oh, I mean, area means fewer miss shots. Yeah, see, there's no repeat dialogue on him. That's why I talked to that girl and really like no one else. <laughs> I mean, talked to that girl multiple times. Uh, yeah, I didn't think you had anything either. It's Baby Mario's diaper! You it stinks. <laughs> Why would it be stashed in there? Shouldn't it be? Okay, now it's repeating stuff, but shouldn't it be in the garbage or something if it's used? No, forget it. <laughs> this game has its bouts of silliness. Now let's get back to the actual golfing gameplay. You pop through here, and you can... Oh, I should actually talk to more people here. 
Uh, yeah, sure, if you go into here, you can see all sorts of golf lingo here, if you'd like to get the, the knowledge of the game here, but I, I'm gonna go through this stuff as I go anyway, so whatever. Eh, here's some more golf lingo! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> and I'm just pressing the B button to get out of here, by the way. Sure, let's look at the golf rules. More lingo! <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to golf, really. But it's really a simple game to understand overall. And look at this! There's more! Oh my god! <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's really simple to understand the game. And this guy tells you about your level ups. But you can also get the same the same stats from the... Uh, um, yeah. Wait, actually, I, I, thought, I thought you could get it from here as well. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of the sequel. Well, I guess... Gotta check this game if you want to know how many points it takes to level up, then. And... Oh no, there's, <laughs> there's more lingo. And all these other paths lead to, like, practice facilities and whatnot. And sure, let's see. Oh, come on now. <laughs> but uh, for now, let's just play in the club tournament. There's... Yes, I did. See, there's a... There's the option of go doing a practice round, but I don't see why you would ever want to do a practice round, in all honesty, because the club tournament is basically the same as a practice round. So I don't really see the difference between doing so other than you can't win the tournament by playing the practice round and why would you want to do that? Just keep playing the club tournament until you win. <laughs> All right, so let's join the next group. Well, final group. We won't see any of these players that we're playing with here, but Golf is a social game, so you often play with other people, and that's kind of why they did this here, because you play with other people, and yeah, it's just how it works. And... First... Oh my god, we're finally playing after all this RPG elements! Okay, so it takes you over to here, where the cursor is. You can move around with the D-pad and stuff. You can change clubs by pressing up and down here. But I'm gonna play it, like, about here. You see the wind at the upper right corner? It's 11 miles per hour towards us and to the right. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna play it there. Wind pushes the ball in the directions, you gotta play for that. And you're gonna notice that his ball isn't quite straight. Well, that's because he's got a draw, as you've seen on his stats. That means his ball turns right to left. It's the opposite if he's left-handed. Uh, but anyway, let's see the swing gauge now. You wanna get all the way over to the left side, and then onto the center of the right side. And my time is a little bit off there, but that's not bad. And uh, there's other stuff that you can do for your shots, but I'll get into, get into them as I go. Just gotta get the use to the timing of playing on the PC and not a Game Boy timing. <laughs> so uh, as for the green here, you can press the select button to see the breaks and all stuff like that. So that's just it's pretty handy to know, but I'm just gonna shoot it right there and there we go! I got the use to the timing pretty quickly there. <laughs> and now... Obviously, with golf, you want to get in the hole in the shortest score possible. I mean, the shortest amount of strokes possible. You know, less, least amount of strokes possible, that's it. <laughs> now, with the brakes, you got to play the brakes. So, I aim, I'm going to aim a little bit to the left of the hole here and watch. See that? The, see the rest area there? 18 feet. Uh, use that to judge your distance on the gauge. Just divide the notches on the gauge to figure out how far you want to putt. That's a little bit more than, yeah. <laughs> That's my own fault. My, yeah, I didn't take the break because I overhit it, but that is okay. Let's just knock it in. There we go, I got a par. Woo, oh yeah. And you can also check your scorecard by pressing right to see the, the pars and whatnot. Yeah, that was a par four and I took four strokes. That's why I got par. So, yeah, if you get three on there, that's a birdie, it's a minus one, yeah, you, you probably know how golf is scored. Anyway, you can also do power shots by pressing the B button here, or do an approach shot when you get within 60 yards of the green. Uh, but if you don't hit your power shots perfectly, you'll use up your power shots. So I'm not going to be using them until I get the timing of playing this on the PC, because I'm playing this on the emulator and whatnot, so yeah. Uh, that's a lot of wind there, so I'm gonna play it like that, and also see the uh, the ball at the bottom right corner there? As I'm gonna be swinging here, I'm gonna press down on the D-pad to change the impact point, and this is gonna make the ball go higher and land softer, hopefully not in the water! Oh, that one did not take the ball as much as I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> anyway, now with an, uh, an approach shot here, I'm gonna press the B button to switch to a 30 yard approach shot here, because I'm within 60 yards. So you can switch between regular, really short, and sort of like medium range, and yeah, I'm gonna go into here and go to 30, 
and see if I can ship this in here. Actually, what I should do if I want to ship this in is take a lower lofted club here and sort of bump it and run it into the hole, potentially. And when you're in this 3D screen here, check to see if your line is about where you want it. If it's not, press the B button, go back to here, check the screen. You can get rather precise with this, actually. Uh, that looks good, so let's hit it up, and let's see if it goes... That was not nearly enough. That is sad. I gotta watch the um, lie as well of the rough. Um, see that like, there's 99, 100 there? Um, that means that's the range that's about that you're gonna hit of the power that you hit it. So that's pretty much always gonna go um, how hard you hit it on greens. Uh, the 98, 100 is on tees, and... Uh, on rough, you can get various kinds of lies. You can also get various kinds of lies on the fairway as well. But yeah, I wasn't really paying much attention in the rough. That's why I hit it a little bit short there. But that is all right. It's just me playing a leisurely beginners around of the game to give things all incorporated, I guess, into my muscle memory. And that was a pretty nice shot. <laughs> Here's my first birdie! Oh yeah! So, 3.3 feet, I'm just gonna hit it a little bit harder. There we go! Ooh, yeah! Alright. And par 5, ooh. Par 5s are generally pretty easy holes to get birdies on. I'm gonna try a power shot here this time. Oh, poopers. See that P6 just went down now to P5 over there? Uh, you only have 6 power shots per round if you use them up like that, but... I guess my timing is still not yet perfected on the PC here. <laughs> I didn't really need a power shot there, I was just kind of using it for the sake of using it, I don't know. <laughs> if I hit a perfect power shot, you also get this whoosh sound that you hit it really, really well. Um, I'm going to hit this a couple notches below the actual end of the gauge because the wind's going to push it to the hole, it's a little bit too much. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should have hit it at full. I kind of came up. Oh, I wasn't watching the lie again. Four, 94 out of 98. I mean, 94% out of 98 percent. Then yeah, you freaking never left it. <laughs> it's fine. I'll be able to make this putt. Yeah. So that's pretty much the basics of golf. You want to get the lowest score as you possibly can, and also play your shots strategically. You don't want to play them somewhere where there's going to be a tree in the way, or you're going to land them in a bunker, or in the water, or something like that, because waters are a one-stroke penalty. And yeah, although you can, in theory, play your ball out of a water hazard, um, it's just the drop that's the one-stroke, uh, basically, it, when you drop out of the water hazard, but if you could actually play them in real life, and I wasn't watching the ball lie again, I'm too much talking! <laughs> that's alright. I don't have to shoot a super, super good score on the first tournament of the game to be able to beat the first tournament of the game. I just have to get like one or two under par, but I really like to get a lot better than that, so I probably should be focusing a little bit more here. Now, like you see in the leaderboard there, I, it looks like I'm pretty far behind, but I'm really not because they're going to start bogeying as the round goes on. The players at the Marion Club, not really super good <laughs> so yeah as I, it, it's a beginner's area basically let's check here that looks good with the wind I could probably just hit it about there with the lie because I'm paying attention now and it should go on the green about pin high that's a little bit further than pin high that's all right you can't always predict where the ball is gonna land because of the percentage of things because yeah because it's it, it, that's as I said, the numbers at the bottom right are the percentage of the power that you're hitting it. So, you, you kind of have to take a, a mean guess, you know, of, of the mean numbers, and then just hope the ball goes as far as it's... as far as you're guessing, basically. So, yeah, I should, probably shouldn't aim that close to the bunker. There you go, just in case of mishits or anything like that. Yeah, you, know, you gotta kind of take into account mishits as well, just to be safe. You never know when golf will bite you in the butt, because golf is a pretty hard game in real life. But it's not that hard in video games. Uh, although, when you're trying to get a really, really low score, it's probably really hard. Uh, well, okay, it is really hard. What am I saying probably for? Anyway, use the power shot to try and get on the green in two here, because I- Oh! 
Because I can get an ego here that's two under par for a hole. Three shots on a par five, three under par. Yep. Sounds good. Good. <laughs> and keep in mind I'm using a character that's, you know, got really low stats because it's still really early in the game, and yeah. <laughs> I think after nine holes I'm going to uh, end off the parts. And then I'm gonna finish the other nine in the next part. Sound good? I thought so, and uh, I think I'm going to hit about there, just to be safe. I don't want to try and thread the needle here, I just want to get on the game. Ah, poopers. Well, what I could do here in the semi-rough is take a putter and switch to medium. It's just like switching to a pro shot or a power shot by pressing the B button. You can also switch to a 200 putt, but you rarely, if ever, have to use this red gauge here. I'm gonna do it about here, and it hit about there, and it should go in. Yeah! <laughs> How do you like those apples? Yeah, anything off the green is considered a chip-in, even if you use a putter. So, stuff on the fringe, in the semi-rough, rough, bunker, whatever. If you get it in the hole off the green, it's considered a chip-in, according to golf statistics. So, yeah. Alright, ninth hole. Gonna be the last hole that I play this part, so let's make it worthwhile. I'm getting used to the character stats as well as the timing of this LCD screen. Uh, um, 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 I think this is gonna go long if I hit it in full. So let's hit it like one notch away from the end and press, oh shoot, and then press it down to cut off even more. So this is gonna go further past pin because I did not hit it where I wanted it to. Oh, boopers. Oh, boopers! As I said, you always gotta take into account mistakes. And since I got a lot of green to run with here, it, was, it worked out. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the cursor centered here because it's breaking in both directions. And uh, maybe I'll hit about there. Oh shoot, that's too much! Oh, or not! <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I do the back nine. And by the way, see those little things over at the hole there? The hole numbers on the left side? Yeah, those? Yep, those are hole num- I mean, those are birdie badges, and you get one for every uh, birdie that you get on a hole. See the minus one, minus one, you know, wherever there's a minus on there, I got a badge for it. So that's another sort of collectible that you can get in this game, but it's not essential to get all the birdie badges, it's just that you gotta birdie the holes um, to get the badges. Got it? Good. But you don't unlock anything if you get all the birdie badges in this game. Unlike the N64 version. Hint, hint, go for it. <laughs> anyway, ending off the part here, hope you enjoy! Doo -doo -doo!